This is a College Web Media production for College Web Mentor. Hi, Jason. Hi, Lisa. I'm Lisa Levinson from College Web Media, and I'm here in America studying communications at Santa Monica College, and I'm also working on my acting career right now. So, Jason. When you say you're here in America, where are you from? I'm from Germany, but my parents are from Russia, so yeah. But I was born and raised in Germany. Great. (laughs) So, as a college student, and on behalf of all college students, thank you so much for your time and wisdom, Jason. My pleasure. Do you speak Russian? I do not speak Russian, no. Never learned it. Okay, so if I may, can I still ask the questions first in Russian for a Russian audience and then in English? Is that fine with you? That's fine. Okay, cool. So then we're going to jump right into it with my first question. Jason, where did you go to college and what was your major? I went to college at Washington and Lee University. It's in Virginia. And my major was languages. Then I got a graduate degree, a master's degree in journalism at the University of Missouri. Okay, interesting, interesting. Так, что думаете? Важно иметь ментора в колледже? Did you believe it's important to have mentors in college? I think it's very important to have mentors in college, just as in life. Mentors give you uh, encouragement and a clear path forward. I think it's very important to have a mentor in college. Okay, yeah, that's so true. So now into Red Sparrow. To watch a few lines, Red Sparrow really perfect it super. Are your characters in Red Sparrow based on real people? Red Sparrow is a, a fiction novel, but uh, it's informed by my 33 years a career in the CIA. So the people and the the characters and the um, the locales and the uh, operations are all fictionalized versions of things that I've done in my career. Okay, that makes sense. Вы были когда-нибудь в похожей ситуации, как ваши герои? Jason, were you personally ever in a situation like your characters? Many of the uh, of the situations are fictionalized versions of so many of the things that we did during our career, just like many of the characters were sort of mosaics of people who we knew and worked with during our career. But everything is fictionalized. Okay, gotcha. So, Dan Bangrados is being from a Stephen Vashi King. Are you pleased with the movie adaption of the book Red Sparrow? Yes, I'm very pleased with it. I think it's a very stylish and a very classy film, very atmospheric. The cast is full of A-listers and I think it stays fairly close to the plot of my first book, Red Sparrow. I agree. So, are you pleased with the acting in the movie? Absolutely. I visited the set of the movie in Budapest last spring and uh, I was struck by how professional all the actors were and I was also struck by what hard work it is to make a movie. A five a five minute scene could take all day to film. Yeah, 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 exactly. Akim Bizodam film is the voice of Civil Gardit. So my next question is was there a part in the movie that really made you feel like you were proud of the film? It was a great achievement to have my debut novel made into a film by twentieth century Fox Studios. Um, I would say that the film's opening, which described a meeting in Gorky Park in Moscow between the Russian source and the CIA man, this is stuff that we did all our careers that filled me with a, a lot of pride to see that in the movie. Definitely. That would not really be fun. How did you get into writing, Jason? I got the, as I mentioned to you, I had a, a graduate degree in journalism and in the CIA people don't realize it but most of the job is done in the office doing a lot of writing, writing reports, writing uh, budget proposals, writing operational proposals. So when I finally retired after 33 years in the agency, basically writing uh, fictionalized accounts of my career was a sort of a therapy and came naturally. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Как по вашему мнению, 
отношения России и Америки сейчас лучше или хуже, чем во времена Рейгана? Is America's relationship with Russia better or worse than it was back in the Reagan years? I think that uh, America and Russia's relationship has evolved over the years. During the Cold War, you know, we were opponents. And uh, at the end of the Cold War, when the wall came down, there was great hope that possibly the two countries could collaborate on important issues such as counterterrorism and counter-narcotics. But I think that the, 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 uh, the march of history and the march of current events have uh, once again put us on a sort of an opposition footing and that true friendship between the two countries is still a challenge. I agree. So my next question will be only in English. What are you predicting the future for American and Russian relations? Well, if you take the last year of Russian-U.S. relations, you might suspect that uh, relations will get worse well, with all the news stories about Russian misdeeds. Um, I think that national interests determine events, and I'm hopeful that uh, the, the national interests of uh, the Russian Federation in the United States can be compatible and that we can move closer to friendship. Okay, awesome. Moving on to my next question. Какой совет вы можете дать студентам колледжа, которые хотят попасть в CIA? To my question, Jason, what kind of advice would you give to a college student that wants to get into the CIA? Oh, to get into the CIA, I think you have to um, you have to study hard. You have to learn a language that would be of use to the agency these days. Those are the hard languages like Russian or Arabic or Mandarin Chinese. Mm -hmm. I I think you also have to get a probably a graduate degree, and it would not hurt to have a couple of years under your belt of practical experience. They they like people who have had sort of a first career and some experience in the workplace. Okay, cool. And my last question: какой совет вы могли бы дать, если они хотят начать писать как вы? What kind of advice would you give? if they wanted to get into writing just like you, Jason. For aspiring writers, I would say two things. Read constantly. Read as much as you can. Read everything. Newspapers, novels, uh, nonfiction, fiction. Just keep reading. The more you read, the more you can develop your own voice as a writer. And the second thing is that very obvious. You have to write. You have to have discipline. You write every day. Even if it's a little bit, get into the habit of writing. So read what others write and write yourself and write what you are familiar with and what you know best. Well, thank you so much, Jason, for your time and information. Is there any way people can follow you on social media like Instagram or Twitter? I'm on Facebook. Okay, what is your name on Facebook? Your full name? Yes, Jason Matthews. Thank you so, so much, Jason. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Good luck. Bye. This has been brought to you by collegewebcoupon.com. Savings in the college lifestyle.